guys are doing well. <sighs> y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to do a sidebar. A sidebar, LOL. Let's see what comes out, you guys. I'm, I'm feeling like rain, rain, go away, come again, another day, okay? <laughs> All right, loyal hearts, and come to the edge, okay? I feel like y'all are being called. Where are y'all being called to? Not your ego. Somebody here, y'all are not, y'all are not falling for y'all's ego, okay? Y'all are running from your ego. You like, oh, no. Or anybody who is showing up in your ego, you like, oh, no, we're not doing that. Time to go. Time's up. I'm out of here. I'm going after my peace, okay? Because you guys are about to receive something here. Y'all are on the, on, the, on the verge of a breakthrough. All right, let's really get in. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Most High, Heavenly Father, Holy Ancestors. What is the message for this sidebar? L-O-L. What's the message? Ooh. What's the message for this sidebar? L-O-L. Can I have the energy, please, Father God, for this sidebar? L-O-L. Soulmates between worlds. Okay. Two people could be um, undergoing some form of a transformation or some type of deep soul connection could be. It could be taking a new shape, a new form. It's being something about the energy between two people um, or this connection or connection period. Okay. It could be going through some type of cleansing phase. Clean it up. Yeah. Yeah. There's something being cleaned up here. And it has to do with the connection. A connection. Now, this could be a connection between you, a person, a place, or a thing. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, happy, happy. Ooh. I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, let's see. All right. Soulmates. Show me clearly, Spirit. What's going on here? Yeah, there's definitely transformation happening. Definitely. And this is like, this is a good transformation. This is something that you want to see. This is transformation for the better. I'm back and I'm better. Mm -hmm, you bad as ever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't think of who that's by y'all, but I am picking up that energy like I'm back and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. <laughs> How is it? However the song goes, okay? So that could resonate for someone. You could know what that song is, or you could look it up with those lyrics. All right, what's going on with these soulmates here? And I do have a read premiering this week titled Soulmates. So if you resonate with anything that's going to come out in this reading, then you all need to check out that read when it premieres, okay? It's titled Soulmates, okay? What's the message, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Angels. Heavenly Father, what's the message? What is the message? The Ace of Wands, a new start. A new start, a new beginning, okay? A clean slate. Ingenuity, creativity, the two of cups, all right? This is a new start or spark between you and someone, okay? Now, this could be, when I say new, it doesn't mean that the relationship has to be new or that the connection is new. It could just mean that, like, there's a fresh energy that's about to move through, that connection okay or that partnership or that business ship okay because this doesn't have to be romantic even though it says soulmates it's just something that connects with you or something you connect with on a soul or cellular i'm hearing cellular level but maybe a solar level 
what is going on here? So a new spark between you. This could be you meeting a new friend. Somebody that you, you know what I mean? Like this could become a, a best friend, even. Or you and your person could, could be deepening your bond and becoming best friends, each other's best friend if you're not already. Something's, something's, it's intimate though. It is intimate. It's an intimate bond. And I don't mean like sexual intimate intimacy. I mean, just like a into me, you see, like, okay. Okay. Someone could be opening up to you. Spirit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So fugus energy. There could be actually several people. Someone's getting inspired by you. And they want to know more about you or know you more in depth or deep. Y'all, sorry, I had to make this a part. Well, um, it's going to be one video, but the camera cut off. So anyway, um, but the next card out was the Ace of Swords. So I think the last one left off of me saying that somebody wants to know you more intimately. Okay. Um, and I was saying that it's like someone had up a smoke screen and it was coming through as an illusion. And it's like someone had it set up to where when people looked at you, they saw a smoke screen or they saw this illusion. They didn't see you. And I was saying like someone wanted people to have a distorted vision of you. Um, and that's been cleared out with the Ace of Swords. Okay. That's been cleared out. Okay. Um, so let's see what else comes through. Yeah. The chariot on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Let's see what else comes out. Yeah, it's like at first, because like I was saying, this could be a lot of people that all of a sudden they see you, okay? Someone could have been judging, judging a book by, book by its cover, all right? So they could have been looking at you and just taking you at face, or they weren't taking you at face value, or they were, I don't know, they weren't seeing the real you or seeing the true you, but it's because of some type of smoke screen, an illusion, or some type of spell, okay? But that's being cleared out. So people are looking at you now and they're seeing you as royalty. This flamingo, it has a crown on its head. There's a bird there that's guiding this. So someone sees you as very wise or they see you as someone who knows the way. Okay. Oh, I bet my card. I bet my card. Okay. I'm going to put these back because I don't like how they came out. I bet my cards. But anyway, let's see what comes out here. So I was saying, yeah, there's definitely something being transformed as it relates to how people were viewing you with the Ten of Swords. I feel like their old way of viewing with viewing you and connecting with you, that way is, is unalive. It's over. That's been terminated, okay? It's been terminated. Okay. Give it back to me, Holy Spirit. What were we? We were on the roll, too, and the camera shut off. I hate that. All right, let's see. What else? Clarify in between worlds. Thank you. Okay, the four of cups. Yeah, so it's like some. It's like when people were looking at you before, they were rejecting you automatically, like putting up their defense against you. They weren't interested. Um, they felt like you had nothing to offer, and it's like that's how people were assessing you before. Like they were prematurely, prematurely judging you. Okay, before really giving you a chance, but it's like something wasn't allowing them to go any further. Okay, somebody did. Some, somebody was trying to get people to reject you. Now, clean it up is here. The hair font. Okay, so now God is on the scene. Okay, this could have to do with some form of this is like court. So somebody could be in, somebody could be in spiritual court for this offense. Now, we talked about in the last um, Look Beyond and Then song about what was happening in spiritual court. And I did mention there being some form of an illusion that someone had cast, okay? So I feel like this has to do with that illusion. Part of the illusion was to get people to, to that came towards you to not see you intimately, to not see you um, 
on a deeper level, there was a smoke screen. Someone could have, I was saying earlier, someone could have been doing some type of photo magic with your photos, okay? With your pictures. Yeah, the high priestess. Wow, this is a this is a soulmate energy. Hair font and the high priestess. They they go together, okay? I feel okay, because sexy red energy is coming through. Bay, I love you. You're my everything. Okay, don't tell them we go together. Okay. Maybe at first people weren't feeling like you were a match for them, a fit for them. They couldn't, they weren't resonating. They felt like, what? It's not, you know what I mean? It wasn't adding up, wasn't matching up. They didn't, they couldn't see their reflection in you, right? But it's like now people are like, damn, that's my soulmate. Like, dang, let me go over there because they feed my soul. Or it's like now people are seeing your worth or they're feeling reaping. They feel like they, are, they can reap some form of benefit from your energy. Okay, or what it is that you have to say. All right. Okay, the star in the reverse. And I feel like this is after a time of, of you not getting some type of recognition, not being seen. Okay, with the four of cups being rejected. Overall energy for this, it's my deck in the reverse. No, it's not. Yeah, somebody was definitely doing some magic because the magician and the seven of swords is here. Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio could be significant. The Magician, Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords. Yeah, people didn't, they wanted, somebody wanted, was trying to make you look like a karmic. They didn't want you to get, this could also be like shadow banning. Someone could be shadow banning or someone's platform could be getting shadow banned. With the star in the reverse. What the hell? I really want to go deeper off into this. Yeah, the devil. The devil. So somebody was really doing this. Somebody didn't want you to get no airplay. Somebody didn't want you to be seen. They didn't want people to, to recognize you or to see you. They didn't want you to shine. They wanted your light to be hidden with the star in the reverse. But this is what's being cleaned up. Hierophant, the high priestess, the star in the reverse. That's being transformed. I feel like for somebody here, God is using your gifts to transform the way that people see you or the way you show up. Confirmation spiritual belch. Dang. Y'all had some haters. <laughs> Y'all had some haters. Yeah. Overall energy for this read. Can I get the overall energy spirit? The seven of swords. Yeah. That's what they was doing. Here's the deception. Here's the lie. Here's the strategy. Let's make them look like the karmic. Let's paint the picture. Let's do a let's do some let's cause some type of illusion. So when people come into this person's energy, they won't see this person because this person really is the star. They didn't want people to see you as that. They wanted people to reject you. Queen of Wands. They wanted to end partnerships with you. Someone could have been using a practitioner to do this. But with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, all that's being cleared out. So there's new energy moving through your connections with the Two of Cups. But this was the strategy. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, there's the illusion, the moon. So we are right on point here. This is a spell. The moon and the Seven of Swords. This is a written spell as well. This was written. This is a written spell that someone tried to use against your energy. The King of Wands. Because you're a natural born leader. The Three of Swords. Oh, the universe is looking at this like this person, whoever did this, it could be an Aries, doesn't have to be, but the Emperor is here. This could be a masculine, someone's masculine that did this. But the vibe is coming through like the, let me put it back in the order in which I saw it. So 
Yeah, they wanted to hide someone who's a, who's a natural born leader, a star seed. They were trying to hide you. Okay, but the universe with the world card here, the three of swords, the, the world, this was hurting the collective. This was hurting, this is how the universe is looking at this. Like whoever did this to this person or to you with this seven of swords energy, whoever tried to do this, or plant this or was involved in the creating of this they they hurt the the universe the universe they don't have to see the universe about this okay this emperor page of pentacles there go the devil i see it the knight of cups and the devil death yeah they finna have to they finna have to answer to the universe about this here okay whatever this um sour offer was Okay, I'm hearing sour apple. Okay, but whatever this bad fruit is that was trying to bring this type of energy to the to the because whoever you are, you're meant to be seen by the world, not just the city, Craig. Okay, the world, <laughs> and it's a vibe where like somebody didn't want that. They was trying to hide your light. They were trying to hide you, or how people perceived you, or how people connected with you. Somebody wanted to manipulate that. They wanted to control that with the emperor energy. So now they got to see the universe about this. That's not cool. But this was an illusion. And it had an effect on a lot of people. And not just the city cred, the world. Okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, let's pull it. Dang, I'm tripping. Let me pull it short and sweet on this. Let's pull it short and sweet. Give this a fighting chance, highlighting your success. All right. Dang. Did I ever look to see what's behind Happy Happy? Never ending story. Fork in the road. Yeah, they was trying to, this right here, it caused some hiccups for, for the collective. Because something that you have to say or whatever it is you're doing was meant to be seen by the collective. It was meant to evolve the collective and somebody was trying to prevent that. So basically at the end of the day, the universe is looking at it like, oh, you was trying to stop progress. Divine power. Divine power. Somebody came against divine power here. Okay, reward and fortune favor the brave. All right, so you've been brave about this whole thing. Okay, oh, they said look behind this card. Relocation. Relocation is here. Somebody could be relocating, okay? Y'all take this as it resonates. This has been your read. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope whoever it was for, it reached you. Thank y'all so much for hitting that like button. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.